What is up you guys? It's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I am back with another video for you guys. Now this video is going to be a little bit different but if you are familiar with my videos before we jump into the video I just have some stuff that I want to kind of just like inform you guys of. A lot of you guys may not know but my name is Amani Jelena and I'm the owner of Allure 96 Hair and Lash. Uh, aside from that I also am a business coach so I do help others out there who want to start a successful business and I give them tips, tricks and the ropes as far as getting the job done and creating something super amazing and creative. Now if you guys are interested in creating a business in the beauty world and when I say that meaning more so just like the hair world uh, I do have a lot of resources available for you guys and you can access all of that stuff from the description box I have I have a how to start a business webinar replay right below for you guys and in that uh, replay you also get a free vendor so definitely utilize that to the best of your advantages and listen to what I'm saying in that replay so you can master creating your own business okay and then aside from that recently I just held a how to create a website webinar with a live demo of me creating a very very beautiful website um, and I'll have the replay available for you guys down below as well okay lastly definitely um get in tune with my social medias and all that good stuff so because be just due to the fact that when i'm not uploading on youtube my job is mainly just social media so if i'm not on youtube i'm i'm sure i'm on snapchat if i'm not on snapchat i'm on instagram if i'm not on instagram i'm probably on facebook and all that stuff so if you guys need to contact me you have so many different social media platforms to do so okay and then last thing something the last thing that i want to address is emails i do get a lot of dms or even like comments on youtube um speaking about me being inconsistent with emails I get a lot of emails a day so definitely allow a response time uh i usually say about a 24 hour response time and then also make sure when you're emailing me you have a subject in your subject field because a lot of something that i'm noticing is the people who's who aren't sending the proper um the proper emails a lot of that stuff gets sent to my spam folder so definitely make sure that you're taking the time out to write everything down in your email and make sure you have a proper heading and a proper subject in your email and that should be able to help with emails going to my spam folder okay let's get into this video okay so this video is going to be my experience as far as switching over from a nine to five to being my own boss um so a lot of you guys do know i'm sure but i have been an entrepreneur since June of 2017 so it hasn't even been a full year yet and luckily I was able I was with the able with the grace of God to go ahead and and move forward with just being an entrepreneur and yes I'm very grateful for that opportunity it does take a lot of hard work but once you get there you're there so I just kind of wanted to tell you guys my story as far as taking that leap over and how detrimental it was and how awesome it is at the same time and all that good stuff okay so I was some of you guys may know what job I was at some of you guys may not know but the my previous job that I was at I was there for five years so I had definitely climbed my way up in the ladder and uh, the job was going fine I was a general manager and so forth but over time I just was not happy doing what I was doing and I literally dreaded coming to work um so that definitely messed with my mood that messed with the mood for my business that messed with my nine to five like it, it, it like my attitude was not pleasant just because I would, did not want to be there and I wasn't happy being there anymore and it came to a point where mentally I just started to get like super stressed out and drained and depressed and things like that because I just did not want to do what I was doing at that time it was a, and it was a point in time where I definitely did like started to talk to like close family members and friends and stuff regarding like transitioning and like quitting my job and like going full-time with my business and and uh, so forth and I want to say doing that prolonged, prolonged, like literally prolonged my transition. I was so worried about listening to what such and such had to say or this person had to say about me living my life that I kind of put my feelings on the back burner as far as moving forward with entrepreneurship. Uh, even though I had a business, I was only giving my business part time of my time and a lot of the time when you're about to make that transition to quitting your nine to five and focusing on your business um, as an entrepreneur that when you're speaking to other people about this transition they will guilt trip you to not doing what you ultimately want to do there was so many people 
that tried to explain to me that like this was not the right decision that I should be making and this was I was moving too fast and things like that 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 literally prolonged me staying at my nine to five um so I have been having these thoughts for months and months and months until the point where I was just like you know what like I'm done like I literally cannot do it I'm like I'm, I'm only giving my business part time of my time when I could be giving my business 100% full time ultimately further my business and create even more success in my business but no I was too busy focusing on what uh, such and such had to say that I just kind of you know I, I went dormant uh, and when I say that like I, I just stayed where I was at I was there for a few more months um until I was just like I'm done and that's when I did not tell anyone no one knew that I quit my job and I had quit my job and went full time as an entrepreneur and when I tell you I am living my best life as of right now I am genuinely happy doing what I love to do I'm genuinely happy creating income doing something that I ultimately love hair I've been into hair since I was about 13 years old and just to know that I, I literally make thousands of dollars doing something that I love creating my own schedule things like that there's a lot of perks with being an entrepreneur versus like working your typical nine to five job but there's a lot of downfalls in it too now we're not going to go too deep into the downfalls but i mainly just wanted to kind of tell you guys that piece of information just due to the fact that if you want to do something go for it don't listen to your mom your dad your cousins aunties boyfriends girlfriends like don't listen to any of them because the, lo the more you listen to them the longer you're going to be stuck and being stuck in life is not fun <laughs> granted i'm 22 years old i don't have any children's uh ch children's i don't have any children's i live for me and for me only and and that's what you have to realize now granted if you have a family and you have all that stuff definitely make sure you speak with your husbands and wives and all that good stuff about making that transition but don't let anyone's negative opinion about what you're doing affect what you're doing okay because guess what time waits for nobody so the longer you continue to wait on your business and the longer you continue to wait on your dream the less time you have at this point I've made the best decision for me in my life that I, I wouldn't give this up for anything in the world and I just want all of you guys to know that like if you guys do need an ear or a, a listening ear definitely shoot me an email we can have a conversation about this because ultimately no time is the right time to quit your job no amount of money is the right amount of money to quit your job you just have to take that leap and realize that hey you got this your bag is secured and you're going to be good and then just watch all those people that were telling you like hey why would you do this why would you quit your job why would you do that why would you do that then they'll be asking you how did you do it and 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 at that point you can say i did it by not listening to you a lot of the decisions that we personally make in our life are mainly altered by others people's opinion in our life and with this point in your life this is a huge you're if you're watching this video you are interested in this particular thing and this is a huge leap you would be making in your life and you ultimately you just want to make sure you make the best decisions for your life as you possibly can so definitely go with the flow don't stress yourself out have some savings just as a backup and realize once once you start your plan it's time to execute it there's thousands of people that do watch my video and i don't personally know each one of you guys but if you're a genuine supporter of mine and I help you as far as content and so forth I believe in you and if like I said if you need someone to talk to to be like hey asking for advice and all that stuff I'm your girl okay because I'm living the life I went through the life I you know I still battle with certain things but ultimately this is the best decision that I have by far made for my life and I would never ever ever regret any of the decisions that I have personally made to be sitting in front of this camera talking to you guys. So last but not least, because I don't want to talk your ears off, if you have a dream, go for it. If you want a, a house built from the ground up, go for it. If you want to drive a BMW X6 or a Tesla, go for it. Let, time waits for nobody, but don't let life pass you by. And don't be afraid to 
to do what you have to do because the most that can happen and I'm going to be honest, the most that can happen is once you quit your job, you fall on your ass and you end up back at that same job. That is ultimately that is the worst that can happen. But if you keep your focus where it needs to be and you keep your goals where it needs to be, the only place your you and your business can go is up. And that means more income and that means more shopping trips and vacations and family parties and, and so much more. But you have to be the one to start, okay? I love you. I love each and every one of you. Thank you guys for supporting me. I'm here to support you. And if you guys need anything, definitely email me, DM me, so forth. Just give me time to respond, okay? With that being said, I adore each and every one of you. And I will see you guys in my next video, okay? Hugs, kisses, and let, let's continue to get this money. Let's continue to secure our bag, okay? That's all it's about, securing your bag and being happy. Bye.